Welcome to our presentation on white-tailed deer. We focused on six main research topics, which are habitats, adaptations, nutrition, behavior, reproduction, and the urban impact on white-tailed deer. The habitats of the white-tailed deer consist of meadows, woodlands, and sometimes in crosslands. The conditions in these habitats consist of tall grass as well as large coverage plantation that surrounds them to cover them from predators. The environment the deer resides in can be found to be near bodies of water that lay around in the area. White-tailed deer have made several adaptations to survive in their ever-changing environment. One example of this is how fast deer can run away from a predator. Their fur is also brown, so that means that they can blend into their environment to hide from predators. The white-tailed deer are also very agile to outrun hunters and predators to survive. White-tailed deer are herbivores, mostly grazing on most plant foods that are available. They have a very strong stomach that allows them to digest a varied diet of leaves, twigs, fruits, nuts, grass, corn, and alfalfa. White-tailed deer mostly graze at dawn and dusk, but occasionally graze during the daylight hours. The main reason deer avoid grazing during the daylight hours is because they mostly rely on their habitat for protection from predators. In the wild, white-tailed deer are preyed upon by many different species of predators. Here locally, many white-tailed deer are preyed upon by coyotes. To defend themselves from predators, they use the speed and agility to outrun and outmaneuver their predators. Being able to sprint at speeds over 30 miles per hour and jump at a height over 10 feet and as far as 30 feet in just one bound. Reproduction is rapid for a deer, where the current population is somewhat 30 million deer exist, with it doubling every two years. Mother deer are pregnant with their fawn for about approximately 201 days, with one to three fawns being born. The fawn itself will be seen walking around just a few hours after birth. The impact urban areas have on white-tailed deer may seem positive for the deer as many urban areas have gardens, shrubs, and bird feeders that the deer can feed on. Another thing that makes urban areas preferable to the deer is the lack of predators in these environments. Although this may seem like a win for the deer, the overabundance of deer can create a scenario for diseases to spread from one deer to another. Also, deer can lose their ability to escape from predators due to them always being safe while also having a food source. This presentation about white-tailed deer was made by Zoe Yop, James Beggins, and Jacob Armstrong. Thank you for listening.